हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज आनंद कुमार झा एंड यू आर वाचिंग कोड विथ आनंद सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई जस्ट वांट टू से दैट इफ यू आर लाइक लाइकिंग माय वीडियोस सो प्लीज शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट द इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर एंड हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट डेटा थ्रू इंटीग्रेशन प्रोसीजर फ्रॉम द सेल्स फोर्स In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, how to post, uh, how to use data adapter transform action under the integration procedure. So, without further delay, let's start. So, yesterday we created one POC get account details demo. Today we are going to create one POC version of the integration procedure where we are going to post the data to the uh, uh, chain, post the data means uh, into the sales force. So, let's suppose. Uh, just to give it the name as POC uh, update account details now you can use the same version of the POC and uh, let's copy the name and paste it under the subtype so always type subtype uh, subtype should be unique otherwise uh, it will cause you so you can't create the uh, IP with the same name now to use the data type to transform mixer we have to use here you can see extract post transform and turbo so we have to use data adapter post action now under the post action we are going to use the same data adapter which we created last time so let's see which data adapter we created uh, in the previous video to post the data into the sales force so for that we can go to the omni script data app omni studio data adapter and we'll search that so we created uh, to two three versions of the POC for uh, demo purpose so let's see so we created POC update account details so we are going to use this data adapter under this integration procedure so for that you can just type here POC underscore the name update you can see uh, update account details here so we can use here POC, POC update account details now to use that we have to pass some input so that it can update the value so let's see how we are passing input to this data adapter what is the name of the input so we were passing input as the account details and uh, like a node as a account details and then account number id name or email so for now let's create one json so let me open notepad so that i can create one json for that and uh, yeah so i think we already have here one json previously created json so we are going to copy this json and we'll use this json to update the value okay so let me remove the data from here and i'll use this this one okay so we have node and the account id and the same dr uh, data we are going to use that so in the preview you can see that i pass this way so for that into the integration procedure we, you can either pass this way as well and you have to pass the uh, account details uh, means a node as well so uh, you can do one thing you can create one more node and you can pass the same into the preview or we can you can you do one more thing you can create the uh, set value and through set value you can pass the data so i, I will talk about the set value later now we'll uh, use one more response section to update the value what value is getting updated so for that just copy this one and you can just paste it here under the send json path okay so let me create uh, let me give one more node here so that i can pass the node name uh, there as well so that it can update so just uh, let me control x In node name you can give anything this way and here you can use the already created node okay so let's try this one this data we are going to pass under the preview so for that just go to the preview and paste it here edit as json and control a control v but you have to pass this node value under the json input path so for this one you can pass your send json path and paste the node name 
so that in the input it will take whole the this whole uh, input uh, JSON account details and the name so if you click on execute it will uh, let me change the uh, name as well today we can give anything uh, by uh, include appending a my name uh, today's date so uh, code with anand underscore demo okay and uh, we are going to change the account number as well account number start with the one two zero 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 and the number i'm implied we are going to increase to this 1500 okay and let's execute it's updating or not so once you click on execute you will get input through the json response that this value is gets updated so you can see absurd success absurd success means uh, the value is updated if you come here and if you see the data adapter input action uh, what input is getting passed so you can see under input this account details node and id is getting passed i use the i created one extra node because of that because under the dr if you see under the fields here we are using one node if we are not using this node like a simply account number to account number mapping then we don't need to use this uh, this node uh, we can simply remove this code with another node and just simply pass these details under the send json input path so this way you can use data raptor uh, transform action under the integration procedure to update the details so uh, let me uh, we just updated the value through the checking and then let's search this id that is the value really getting updated or not because right now we just pass some input so we just need to check that so i'm just going to open any random account and then it, I change, uh, replace the id with that particular account or uh, i can do one thing so just copy this one come here and you can see under this uh, lightning tab you can do one more thing like you can remove everything from here just paste your account id once you click on this one it will open the particular account with this with this id in the lightning mode and and the same way you can search in the classic mode as well so you can see the value is gets updated let code with anand demo and enter the details we can find the what other value like uh, number of employee and other things gets updated you can see account number we updated and uh, i updated the number of employees as well why the number of employees 60 we'll check that so uh, you can do one thing we can uh, use salesforce inspector i am not able to see salesforce inspector right now let's search in the classic way you can click here are we really a change the number of account or not let's see in the input so under the input i passed that time number of employee was 10000 i made 15000 so it should be 15000 so let's see it's getting updated or not so i am just going to so basically we are using under the input path uh, the variable uh, like a uh, uh, field api name was velocity uh, okay we didn't Im uh, use the number of employee fields here but we passed under the number of employee that's why the value is not gets changed so if i use let's see if we pass just copy and under the integration procedure let's pass the number of employee 1500 and we have to make changes here as well in the dr under fields that okay account details colon okay uh, i need to check the api name so we'll check that but yeah this way we can you can update right now the number of employee if you want to update uh, search the number of employee name and uh, what is the api name of that field so we are under the particular account so we need to search you can use salesforce inspectors to see or uh, you can use fields as well to see the uh, particular api name so let me click on account details and we'll find that M -P -L -O -Y -E. so you can see number of employee is the api name so you can just copy it here okay field api name 
and uh, just come to this dr and you can pass here uh, you can pass anything here I pass number of employee which is going to be input number of employee as an input and we can pass the value where we are going to map number of employee so number of employee this is going to be mapped so under this api name or let's see what input we are going to pass we are going to pass number of employee could be this one and uh, paste it here okay so yeah perfect we passed here value and this value we are going to pass through the integration procedure fine so okay we are updating email as well so let me change the give one value as a email as well under the json node what was the input we are passing uh, velocity INS account details email so let me just change the name from email to input as an email okay and we can use here input email, email and the, under the email we are going to pass what email we, you want me to pass uh, let's see uh, abc uh, and i just passed my uh, telegram username so or the instagram username and dot ja zero is it's my uh, instagram username you can follow there and at the rate gmail.com i just passed this email and you can pass uh, just paste and give one comma here as well otherwise you will get one error and just copy this input okay and uh, let's pass this to the integration procedure that is getting updated or not okay uh, one more thing before passing anything you just you can do one thing you can create uh, activate this version because without activating you can't use integration procedure if you use integration procedure you will get error that uh, validation error that activation uh, integration procedure is not activated i will show you once i start using uh, integration procedure under the flex star then i will show you everything so okay we are going to pass this input and i am changing the number of employee to 1500 and uh, let's execute the journey let's see if uh, it's updating or not so you can see it's a uh, value is getting updated here under this uh, update dr account you can see absurd success equals to true with all these value so let's come to this account uh, account and refresh this one or uh, you can go this account as well and then refresh this one and show you on both both places that value is getting updated or not so you can see here under the classical mode we can see the number of employees changed to 1500 email is also changed okay account name is also changed with uh, uh, okay uh, code with anand but at that time uh, account number is gets changed okay I, I, I think i removed the different account number but yeah so it should be changed let me open the particular account where i updated all the value okay so under the integration procedure you can find the particular account id so let's copy the id okay we already have here, here the account id so just copy this one and come to this one and uh, paste the account id okay you will get the account details and i didn't change okay i changed uh, i passed the account id with this name and then the same account number but i in the input field i just changed the uh, what is uh, change the name uh, only the i changed only the number of employee fields that's why the value is not gets updated it will come like uh, only uh, with change with the email and the number of employee but yeah the name was similar to the previous input and the account number is also same as the previous input as we just copy and paste it here so you you can see that uh, this way you can use the integration pro, uh, data adapter transform or load under the integration procedure now in from the next video i will show you how you can uh, use the data adapter transform under the integration procedure and uh, in the coming videos uh, once this integration procedure like uh, i'll uh, tell you everything then we can start with the flex cut or in the similar way uh, we can learn integration procedure as well as flex cut together in the coming video so from next video i will show you how you can use a flex card or a, a data flex card as well as omni script through this data sources 
So as you know right now, uh, what is the data adapter, how we can use integration procedure. So it's better to start the uh, OmniScript and the FlexCard as well. So from next video, I will start that. So if you like this video, please share and uh, share with your friends. And whoever need help in the Omni Studio, they can just ping me on the Telegram uh, as well as on Instagram. Follow that on both places and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye.